fire or homes that are very, very close by. You can see the fire department on the ladder on top of the roof of this home that is about to catch fire as well. But there is another one being threatened on the south side of this row of homes as well. At this point, there are no injuries to report, but of course, they are not even close to getting upper hand on this massive place that is endangering other homes around it. Reporting live over Newark. Shannon Sohn, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. So you look like you have four homes right there. Are any homes near there evacuated right now, Shannon? They are certainly evacuating the homes in this area. We're just going bring to bring you to the south side, and you can see this home in question on the south side. You can see where the siding has already burned off yeah. of that. Those homes have been evacuated. And look at this. I mean, I mean, it's almost hard to see how many houses there are that are on fire. There are four that we can count. You can see them trying to put water on that fifth house to try and salvage it. But any residents in this area have had to be evacuated at this point. There's no question. And you you know, you can see how how much the wind is affecting these fires. You know, it's going right there. I, those cars are going to get on if they don't if they're not careful with it. Um, Lee Goldberg is taking a look at this. Lee, are you ready? Are you there? Uh, yeah, no, I am, Billy. What I was just trying to do was uh, to get my live picture up. Yeah. Hold on one second while I do that. Okay. I just want to get. We're watching this, and Shannon, when did this start? the amazing part to me is that we were flying, we were over the Bronx, and all of a sudden we saw thick black smoke, I'm going to say maybe 20 minutes ago. So this is a fast moving fire, and I'm going to ask Captain Randy Empey if he can give us a circle around this, because at points we're seeing some of this smoke. It'll give you a really good perspective yeah. on just how much is on fire here. The other thing that you have to keep in mind is you've got trees right along the back side mm -hmm. of this that are also going to be in danger at some point, but this is a really great view right here. You're getting a really good view. You see the north house that oh. is on fire here. One in the middle that is almost indiscernible yeah. at this point. One where they, the, you see the thick black smoke coming up, coming up. That's telling us that the fire department isn't even close to getting water on it yet. And that is how close it is to this fourth house. You can see now that we've moved our perspective on this, that the roof of that house where we showed you yeah. the siding that was mm -hmm. burned off is already on fire. A little bit of distance between that house and the house next to it. So maybe that is going to be a saving grace that will act as a firewall. But this is a massive massive fire. You can see the fire department in the street. They're still trying to figure yeah. out how to tackle this one. And really, your pictures give us an idea of what they're facing. You've got those houses so close together and that wind. Lee, what is your take on, on just how much of a factor is the wind likely to be in this blaze? Uh, it's definitely a factor, and so is the recent dryness. I don't know if you can go over to my weather computer, but I, I have another yeah. picture, and we're looking at oh, it. So that's yeah. across the New Jersey Turnpike, and you can see past the airport for miles there. So I'm also wondering, maybe Shannon, you can check this out. You know, could there be some now delays at Newark Airport just because of some of that smoke in the air? Obviously, the nearby roads is going to be rubbernecking looking up toward that smoke. So what we have is we have winds that are gusting around 20 miles an hour out of the west northwest. And it's been very dry out. So I mean, all the foliage is just like kindling with something like that. So the danger of rapid spread is there as well. And you can just see the direction. So any of that smoke blowing toward Jersey City, Bayonne, any of you watching us right now from that area have the windows open on a beautiful fall day might want to close those windows just because the air quality is going to deteriorate guys yeah yeah it, it does look like that car's on fire now shannon right yeah. below that uh, do we know everyone's gotten out yeah that's the question loss of property is one thing life yeah. loss of life another do we yeah, have unfortunately any we go ahead we don't know yet if everyone has gotten out. We do want to draw your attention. You see the car that looks like it's on fire. I can't tell if that's actually on fire or if you're seeing the flames from the windows, but you can see this pole that is clearly on fire with those live wires all around it. See the fire department mm. just put some water on that, but this is just a massive blaze. We talked about the trees and being concerned about that, and you can see if you look towards the back yep. side of your picture that those trees are in fact on fire as well. Again, the, the loss of life is the concern here and if there was anyone injured this has been just a fast moving fire now lee mentioned newark airport we can tell you from our perspective that the fire the smoke is going really very straight up and then it's really starting to dissipate before
before it hits Newark Airport. So right now there are no flight delays as you look through the area roadways. Lots of people stopping to take a look. So you can expect delays through the area as you travel through. So we can also tell you we'll just bring up Street Spotter 7 for you. You can see Springfield Avenue on the north side of your screen. That is a main thoroughfare getting through the Newark area. So obviously everyone looks